Welcome to Singing Time. I'm going to show you a clue about the song we're singing today. See if you can guess what it is. What are these? These are the scriptures. And the song we're singing today is all about the power we get when we read our scriptures. Have you guessed yet? That's right, it's scripture power. This is how it goes. Because I want to be like the Savior, and I can. I'm reading his instructions. I'm following his plan. All right, what did you think of the first part of that song? Because I want to be like the Savior, and I can. Have you ever thought you can become like the Savior? That's a big, tall order. He was perfect, but we can become like him. How do we become like him? Well, the song says, I'm reading his instructions. Where do you find his instructions? That's right, you find them when you read your scriptures. I try really hard to read mine every day day and every day I learn just a little bit more about his instructions for me and for our whole family. Are you doing that? It's a great way to get that power from our scriptures. How are some other ways that we learn how to be like the Savior? Well in the scriptures we learn lots of different ways. Pause the video for a minute and discuss it with your family. Okay, we're back. What did you come up with? I'm gonna show you this picture. We've used this picture before. I love to read in the scriptures, even though this is a kind of a modern picture, but in the scriptures we read lots of instances where Jesus really helped one person, one person at a time, one person with their particular problem. So when we stop to help one person, we're also doing what the scriptures teach us and becoming more like our Savior. Can you think of another way? I love this picture. This is a picture that shows Christ when he was younger, maybe kind of just about 12 or so. When he was younger, he loves his mom. He's helping with his family. Did you know that that's one way we can be just like Jesus Christ? If we show our love to our family members and we work to help them? We learn about that in the scriptures too. Okay, let's sing that line of the song and go on. Because I want to be like the Savior and I can. I'm reading his instructions. I'm following his plan because I want the power his word will give to me. Because I want the power his word will give to me. What kind of power are we talking about? This muscle kind of power? Not really. We're talking about spiritual power, the power to know right from wrong, the power to hear the Holy Ghost guiding us to do a particular action or help a particular person, the power to feel the Holy Spirit in our life in every area, the power to have peace and joy during this harder time, Okay, let's sing that line again and go on. Because I want the power his word will give to me. I'm changing how I live. I'm changing what I'll be. That's the secret power. Alma talks a lot about it in the Book of Mormon. Do you remember? the power to change how we live, to repent from the things that we were doing wrong, to just maybe 
try harder to do the right things, to change our attitude to one of joy and helping and peace. Wow, think of how cool it would be if everyone knew this secret, that they could change the way they are and change what they become to be more like Jesus Christ. Well, guess what? We can help them to know that by sharing our testimonies of the scriptures. So let's sing that whole verse and go right to the chorus. Because I want to be like the Savior and I can. I'm reading his instructions. I'm following his plan. Because I want the power his word will give to me. I'm changing how I live. I'm changing what I'll be. Scripture power keeps me safe from sin. Scripture power is the power to win. Scripture power every day I need. The power that I get each time I read. Isn't that a fun song? What is the power to win? And what are we winning by reading our scriptures? Pause the video and discuss it with your family. Okay, we're back. And what did you come up with? Hmm, I don't think it's winning a game or a soccer match or maybe even an argument. I really don't think that's what it's talking about. I think it's talking about winning the right to live eternally with Heavenly Father and Jesus and with our families. We follow these instructions. It changes how we live. It changes our heart to be more like Jesus Christ. We make the covenants and we're ready to have exaltation and live with him forever. Isn't that great? I love that power to win. Okay, are you ready for the second verse? This is how it starts. I'll find the sword of truth in each scripture that I learn. Don't you just love this painting? In this painting, the artist shows some missionaries getting ready to go out for the day. And this missionary has in his hands, can you see, the scriptures. And then the artist shows in his reflection in the mirror, holding on to those scriptures is like him putting on the whole armor of God, just like that wonderful scripture in Ephesians. I love that scripture. So here he is with the sword of truth. And every scripture that he learns helps him to have that to use to make sure he's doing the right thing. Let's sing that again. I'll find the sword of truth in each scripture that I learn. And here's the next part. I'll take the shield of faith from these pages that I turn. Well, there's an important lesson in that part of the verse. It takes effort on our part to have this whole armor ready to defend us and help us have the peace of Christ in our life. We have to learn the scriptures. We have to turn the pages as we study. So let's sing that part again. I'll find the sword of truth in each scripture that I learn. I'll take the shield of faith in these pages that I turn. Great job. Here's the next part. I'll wear each vital part of the armor of the Lord. So how can we learn what those vital parts of the armor of the Lord are? 
How about you pause the video and look it up with your family? You'll find the description of these parts in Ephesians chapter 6. I think it starts with verse 7. Okay, we're back. Did you read those scriptures? Isn't it cool to learn all the pieces of the armor of the Lord that can help us by reading the scriptures to be ready to face anything, any challenge that our day might have for us? Okay, let's sing that part again. I'll find the sword of truth in each scripture that I learn. I'll take the shield of faith from these pages that I turn. I'll wear each vital part of the armor of the Lord and fight my daily battles, win a great reward. Scripture power keeps me safe from sin. Scripture power is the power to win. Scripture power, every day I need the power that I get each time I read. Great job. Isn't it a cool message that wearing each vital part of the armor of the Lord helps us to be ready for whatever is coming our way? And we know lately we've had some difficult things coming our way. We may have a lot more difficult things come our way and they'll be different, but it doesn't actually matter what those difficult things are because the Lord has given us the way that we can be happy and feel his peace and gain his help and strength through any of those things. And it's with our scripture power. So let's sing the whole song again and Sing it as loud as you can. Ready? Because I want to be like the Savior and I can. I'm reading his instructions. I'm following his plan. Because I want the power his word will give to me. I'm changing how I'll live. I'm changing how I'll be. Scripture power keeps me safe from sin. Scripture power is the power to win. Scripture power, every day I need the power that I get each time I read. I'll find the sword of truth in each scripture that I learn. I'll take the shield of faith from these pages that I turn. I'll wear each vital part of the armor of the Lord and fight my daily battles and win a great reward. Scripture power keeps me safe from sin. Scripture power is the power to win. Scripture power, every day I need the power that I get each time I read. Now, my young brothers and sisters, I know this is a fun, fun song to sing, but don't lose the powerful message just because it's fun. We get true spiritual power from connecting with the Lord through the scriptures he's given us. We can learn to hear his voice sharper and better. I bear my testimony of this. Dive into the scriptures, feel his power fill you, and feel his peace permeate your home. I'll see you next week.